Let love command. Let wonders form. Let heaven's beauty shine through us right now in all things. Building a team of empowered individuals. I've really been thinking about this topic lately. And anytime I think about speaking and how, what am I gonna present? I always think of what does it mean for me first, right? And my experiences of this and what has brought me to this moment. For me, it came down in this cycle of exploration to diligence, commitment, devotion. It comes with a letting, an openness to be commanded, let love command. 11 years ago, I would have said, no one's commanding me. Oh, no. Mm -mm. I am woman. Hear me roar. It hasn't changed. Trust me. <laughs> Anybody knows. But yet there's a humility to allow something that's larger than me to come through. And it has taken lots of practice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I'm thankful for those around me that have held me through that practice. I spoke a little bit about it Wednesday night. You know, um, poor Jane has dealt with me, had to deal with me <laughs> and others. And yet each cycle was an opportunity of growth and learning. And now I get to hold people in their journey those around me while still doing my work. <laughs> We're talking about this figure, this um, eight cylinder engine and uh, being in a team of people to try to be a working engine, right? And I'm thinking of all the pieces that sometimes I don't want or I think are missing. And I, I have see no way to move forward. And I've thought about it and reflecting this last 11 years or so and beyond. What really got me through was opening up to the possibility, not being at the effect of what I felt perceived as a lack or not enough or wrong and going inside and being steady, diligent, faithful that whatever configuration is happening right now is meant to be whatever works will happen whatever will work will happen and whatever doesn't won't and it's meant to be boy that takes a lot of trust a lot of faith a lot of just letting go let love command that's the hardest thing is to let go the walls those walls come with judgments. There's, there's also walls that I've hit. Not feeling that I could move forward. There's no way forward. But it always comes to, am I committed to, keep, to keeping an open invitation of my heart? for myself and those around me and the situation? Am I open to all the shifting that is possible, all the transformation, all the birthing that is possible? That shifts my mind, that has shifted my mind, that has been a go-to for me to bring me back to, what am I committed to? Oh, I could easily run away. Let me go live on the beach in Hawaii, which I have done. <laughs> and yet, though beautiful, living on the beach in Hawaii, it is beautiful. I didn't have purpose and mission for these capacities we're so eager to do. 
something. Some of you, a lot of you know my story, but I'll finish with this. There's a time in my life where I let go of everything in my life, like successful life. Because <laughs> I was a longing of my heart, of my capacities to do more. And I knew nothing of what that meant. So I decided that in 2009. And went on a pretty long journey, but ended up here. And it doesn't mean you have to come to Sunrise Ranch to do that. But there's shifting that can happen while stay, still staying diligent and committed to what's your purpose and mission in the midst of it all. Taking each step in stride, thankful in all things. That's what I like to share.